Okay, I'm going to do a prayer for organization, prioritizing, scheduling, special organization, and getting as much done in a day as possible. Um, I did good things today, but I feel like I'm just dragging my feet. It's a little frustrating. Uh, my house is not organized. There's as much as I try to put things in certain places. I feel like things keep getting cluttered and I absolutely need Holy Father to give me a blueprint before I lose my noggin. Holy Father, Proverbs 31 states very clearly the gift of organizing and being a excellent, industrious, productive, loving, godly person. And I'm going to say person, I don't think that Proverbs 31 is just for a woman. I think a man can have these gifts too. Um, and I definitely claim that for men too. Because organization in a male is very, a tidy man is very <laughs> lucrative. Women love a tidy man. Okay. A woman or a man of noble character... That is who we are. We are worth more than rubies. Our spouses, our family, our friends have full confidence in us and lack nothing of value. We bring them good, not harm, all the days of our life. We select wool and flax and work with eager hands. We are like the merchant ships bringing our food from afar. We get up while it is still dark. We provide food for our family and portions for our servant girls. We consider a field and buy it. Out of our earnings, we plant a vineyard. We set about our work vigorously, and our arms are strong for our task. Yes, Holy Father, make us help, help us to be vigorous at our work, and I pray that we have strength in all our tasks that we take under tow. We see that our trading is profitable, and our lamp does not go out at night. Look, I'm up at 1.27 a.m. That I fit perfectly. That's it. I'm a Proverbs 31 woman. <laughs> We open our arms to the poor and extend our hands to the needy. When it snows, we have no fear for our household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. We make coverings for our bed. We are clothed with fine linen and purple. Our spouses, friends, and family, I'm going to say our spouses and our children are respected at the city gate where they take their seat among the elders of the land. Thank you for this blessing, Holy Father. Thank you. We make linen garments and sell them and supply the merchants with sashes. We are clothed with strength and dignity and we can laugh at the days to come. We speak with wisdom and faithful instruction is on our tongue. We watch over the affairs of our household and we do not eat the bread of idleness. Our children arise and call us blessed, our, our spouses, our friends and family also, and they praise us. Many men and women do noble things, but we excel them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a man or a woman who fears our Holy Lord God Almighty is to be praised. Give us the reward we have earned and let our works bring us praise at the city gates. Holy Father, uh, we thank you for all these blessings. I'm, I'm looking up some more scriptures to claim them, so give me a second. We thank you for all these blessings of Proverbs 31. We receive them. We claim that we are this person. We are strong for our tasks. We thank you for an abundance of holy wisdom, revelation, knowledge, understanding, prophetical knowledge and wisdom to be poured into us, to be poured into our children and our grandchildren, Holy Father, abundantly. We ask you to pour your Holy Spirit over us abundantly so we have Joel to dreams and visions. I thank you, Holy Father, for just giving me patience with everything. I'm so frustrated with everything i just feel like i've got so much on my plate that holds me down that i i can't move forward i have i really wish i didn't have these dogs because i spend more time on a dog that i don't spend time with or have time to spend with taking them out feeding them and just so much unnecessary uh stuff that bogs me down and i wish i had some of this responsibility completely out of my life I need you to organize my life, Holy Father. I need you to take out of my life 
what needs to be taken out. I need you to bring into my life what needs to be brought in. I, Holy Father, we need your complete, holy, and perfect will in our lives, Holy Father. We need your complete, holy, and perfect will in our lives. Guide us, Holy Father. Show us what your will is. Make us industrious, Holy Father. Make us super organized. Make us super clean. Make us everything we need to be to be this Proverbs 31 woman. She's industrious. She's productive. She has a business. I can't even get past my house hardly to get to work, God, because of animals I got to take care of. And I'm tired and I want less responsibility, Holy Father. I want because I need to I I need to remodel my house, Holy Father. These animals destroy my house. They're destroying my house and I'm going backwards. I'm not going forwards. I'm going backwards. And I need help, Holy Father. I need help, Holy Father. I need help. We all need your help. We need your help so that we can progress forward and not backwards. I have a bird that's destroyed my house, that's d killed other animals, and I need help. I need wisdom. Help me, Holy Father. Help me, Holy Father. Help me, Holy Father. Help me, Holy Father. I need your wisdom, Holy Father. I need your holy intervention. I need your holy, perfect blueprint for my life and my household. And everything I have in my life, Holy Father, I need your holy, perfect blueprint that's in the third heaven. Your holy, perfect kingdom come and your holy, perfect will be done in my life as it is in heaven and in all of our lives, Holy Father, as it is in holy heaven and the third heaven. It says, for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, come knowledge and understanding. We want that wisdom and understanding, Holy Father, and knowledge. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Holy Father, that's what I'm talking about. I want to conquer more in my day, and I feel like I didn't conquer very much today, Holy Father. I have so much that needs to be taken care of, Holy Father. Please give me strength and time. Help me to wake up earlier, Holy Father, so that I can get more done, God. Sleeping till 12 noon is not helping at all, God. I need to have more energy. Give me the strength of an ox. Give me everything I need so that I don't sleep long, Holy Father. These long hours of sleeping are destroying my productivity, Holy Father. Please, in Jesus' holy name. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is, first of all, pure, then peace-loving, Consider it submissive, full of mercy, and good fruit, impartial, and sincere, James 3.17. Holy Father, we thank you that you're going to make us of excellence in organizing and cleaning and prioritizing in our schedules day to day, week to week, month to month. That you're going to make us people, men and women of excellence, like Proverbs 31 talks about. She's super organized. She has a business, Holy Father. I can't even get my business off the ground. I'm bogged down with dogs that I have to spend hours at a time to be outside and they still crap in their kennels. Holy Father, please give me answers. Holy Father, please give me answers. Holy Father, please give me answers. Holy Father, please. I can't live this way anymore. I need to be productive and I need some of this junk in my life to be taken out to be severed completely out so that I can be fruitful and productive, I pray in Jesus' holy name. I thank you, Holy Father, for all these blessings of Proverbs 31 and all these scriptures that I just prayed, Holy Father. Forgive me, Holy Father, for being upset. Forgive me, Holy Father, for being upset, Holy Father. Help me to please be wise in everything I do. Please, Holy Father, I'm asking you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, Holy Father, I'm begging you. Take out, take out, take out some of the burden in my life so I can start working on the car business I have so that I can be doing other things, Holy Father. I'm like spinning my wheels and I need to move forward with more of these goals I had, Holy Father. Please, Holy Father, in Jesus' holy name, please, Holy Father, in Jesus' holy name, please, Holy Father, in Jesus' holy name.